Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last session, we went around the various shops in the universe, the Citadel and Ilium and Omega, and did a bit of a shopping spree, and then we went with Samara to hunt down her daughter no Morinth. For you, Commander. Nice, nice. And uh, we trapped Morinth and Samara, put her in the ground, and thus ended <laughs> one of uh, one of the more worrying, I guess, uh, <laughs> companion missions. Like, ooh, killing killing your own daughter. That's 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 a hard time. That is unfortunate. And uh, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to blue ball you a bit more because I've decided that rather than do like five plus parts of scanning every system, looking for all the side missions and stuff at the end of all the loyalty missions before the point of no return, I've decided we're going to intersperse like one part looking for side missions, one part loyalty, then one part looking for side missions, etc. Uh, just so there isn't just a, a week's worth of videos that are all just scanning systems in a row and stuff, because that's what we did at the end of ME1, and I'd rather I'd rather spread it out a little bit for my own uh, not wanting to scream at having to do the the, uh, the scanning thing so much. So that is what we're going to do. So apologies if you're hoping for a loyalty mission uh, today, which I'm sure people were, but yes, we're going to we're going to do one on one off, as it were. So, uh, where are we? Where are we? There is a, there is a lot of places. <laughs> there is, in fact, so many places. Some of which I don't think we've... Have we ever been to this one? Oh, apparently 25%. 31%. Have there, have, are there any that we've never been to at all? Krogan DMZ we've never been to at all. I don't want to accidentally start anything by going there yet though, so we'll hold off on that. I guess we have been everywhere? Oh, no, we found one. Minos Wasteland. You know what? Let's start there. We will we will be scanning for a ton of materials. We'll be playing any side missions as they come up, and uh, I guess we should go and visit the Shadow Broker base as well at the end, because I think it's been a couple of parts since we did that. See if there's anything new to collect there. Anomaly detected. Oh! Is that an incredibly fucking fortuitous start? Have we got one to begin with? Turid explorers have discovered hot springs in the polar ice caps. Uh, funds a research station. I... Apparently, we have got incredibly lucky on our first try. I was not expecting that, but I will take it. Surface scans report potential alien signatures from within the mining facility. Anomalous life signs detected. Whereabouts of facility staff unknown. Alright, well let's just finish scanning this bad boy. Go away, little orange thing. <laughs> Whoa. Launching probe. And then we'll head down, that's nice. People have said there are, like, a lot of these side missions, and I've only found a couple so far. Like, I have done a fair bit of scanning throughout the playthrough off and on. Like, I haven't ever focused hard on it, but I've done a fair amount, and I've only found... There was the there was the Protect the 20 Crates mission, and then there was the more recent, uh, like, rickety ship wreckage mission. But aside from that, I think that's it, but apparently there's, like, loads of these things, so... I guess we've just been getting unlucky. Right. What's your new outfit, Samara? Just uh, just a black reskin. Should we try it out? Let's try it out. Let's see what it looks like. And let's take... Do -do -do. Garrus, should we take Garrus? Yeah, go on. Go on, then. Right, we got two points. We need one more for the next rank of your Reeve. Uh, you've got four points, but we do not have enough for that yet, so we will save up. And I am currently getting the incendiary ammo. Cool, cool. Uh, I need to try out the black hole gun that we've got equipped now. Oh, and yeah, the geth, the geth plasma shotgun is what we're using. So this has, this has like a, a longer range mode, right? Just, let me read this just so I know what I'm doing. Uh... A two-stage trigger system allows 
allows for charge and release to attack to electrify the projectiles as they exit the weapon. Right. So I guess there's... I don't know exactly how I'll actually enable this alt fire thing. Unless it's just... Because I think it's like a charge up or something people have said. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, Garrus, what are you using? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, okay. Let's go. What have we got? Fuck, I should have bought my helmet, it's raining. Uh-oh, was that a husk? Was that a husk? Okay, so how does this bad boy work? So you can just fire it like that or hold the trigger, I guess? Yeah, okay. And then when it does that. Cool, okay. Uh, What have we got? We got some credits. Guess we're heading this way then. What do we think of Samara's black outfit? It's all right. I think I prefer the red. So far, I feel like all of the loyalty mission reskin outfits just haven't been as good. That was a double. If you're reading this, get the hell out of this place. Now. Oh, I need to equip my uh, incendiary. Always forget. And I guess we should map these. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like Reeve's going to be re useful against them, right? Because it's... About uh, armor and barriers mostly. So I guess we'll just stick with Paul. Hello! Hi! Oh, big hi. What is that? That went pretty well. Whoa! Sorry about that. I've just noticed I'm starting to get low on ammo, and there has not been any ammo that's dropped so far. Hello there, friend. Affirmative. Enemy. Feel the fail. Are we just not going to get any ammo on this mission? Should I have been conserving? Oh no, never mind. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Lovely jubbly. Hello! Hi! Bye! Attacking target! Get with the target! Mine logs. Alien machine discovered. Smithson's men dug out some kind of alien machine today, like nothing I ever saw. Called up some of my contacts and found out there's a market for this kind of thing. Looks like some squints over at Alana's wrist control are willing to part with a ton of credits to get their hand on one of these things. Far be it from me to deny them a chance to pay me. A strange glow. Cooper and Jur Jurigensen say they saw the damned alien thing glowing and hell if I'm going near it to prove them wrong. I don't get paid enough to expose myself to weird alien artifacts. I have to admit though, there's an awful pretty sound coming from that back room. Something's different. Cooper, Jureginsen, and them ain't doing so well. Not feeling so good myself, either. Stay near, the, stay near the machine. Feel better. Not sure I want to let them Alanis folk take it. I think it should stay right here with us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shepard, I detect a powerful alien signature D-1. 
deep within the mines. It appears the device is the source of the husks. It is likely that destroying it would stop them. Guess we're gonna do that then. Can't target them. Trying to line them up. One less to worry about. On my way. Hello? Can't target them. Really? Why can't I target them? Oh, did they die from that? Okay. I'll take it. On my way. It's me. <laughs> Oh shit, Samara just went down. There's a fucking lot of them, aren't there? There we go. Fuck me. Uh, right. Doop doop. Oh, is this, are we already there? Anything down here? No. Uh, can we set the bomb to go off to destroy this thing? Is that, or are we just are we just shooting them? I guess so. Sure. Do, 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 do. Destroyed Reaper indoctrination device. Okay. Well, that was a very, very quick little uh, side mission. I guess all the side missions are very little. The most unique one was definitely that finding your way around the ship one. For sure. Well, back to scanning. Uh, the rights to the planet have been tied up in Citadel Council Courts for eight years. The running joke is that by the time the Council gives the go-ahead to colonize, it will have evolved life of its own. Ha! <laughs> That's a pretty good running joke. Launching probe. Pew, pew, pew. Probe launched. Launched. Okay, probably one more, do we think, to take it off of Rich? Launching probe. Nope. This place is ultra rich. Although, we're running low on actually sites to get anything from. 
it appears. Oh, there's one. Probe That's away. gotta be it. Yeah. It is weird that sometimes it jumps from rich to good and sometimes it goes straight to moderate. Veer. A pressure cooker planet. Uh, nothing particularly much there. And it's only good, so I'll just see if there's any. Ezo, no. Okay. No. Temerarus. Visible in Invictus's night sky, named for the Turian spirit, said to have inspired the crew of their first manned moon launch. Boiling hot. Sucky place. Probe away. Launching probe. Boop. Probe launched. That's a big boy spike. Launching probe. Probe launched. I wonder what Bioware thinks of this uh, scanning minigame now with the benefit of a decade's hindsight or however long it's been since this game came out. I wonder whether they'd still put this in if they made the game today or whether they'd change it up. Uh, Invictus temperate zones were settled by a Turian population that initially fell prey to a be bewildering number of diseases. Two decades after its first colony was founded, its population had reduced by half due to fatalities and a large colonist exodus. But when the Primarchs considered ceding the planet to robo-mining interests, the Tulurian statesman Shastina Emperus ambitiously declared that she would start her own colony and double its population in five years. The effort succeeded largely due to the colony's location in deserts with a minimal number of pest species. The image of Shastina's triumph in the frontier made for good political theatre, and the Turian population poured in. The planet's tropical belt still remains largely unexplored, as its aggressive organic life still wreaks havoc on Turian biology. A house in an Invictus jungle is a modern Turian phrase for an idea that seemed like a good idea, but only to the one who came up with it. Invictus's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen and oxygen, and its surface... Okay, that's all just rubbish, I think. Oh, because it can support life easily, criminals from throughout the systems hide out on Invictus. Its official population is estimated to be half the number of sapiens that are actually on the planet. I think that's our first planet description in ME2 that's so long that you have to scroll it to read all of it. And it is rich! Launched. And now it's not rich anymore. Oh! There's Ezo though. Launching probe. Here, Ezo, 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 Ezo. Here, Ezo. Oh! Oh my goodness, what the fuck? That's the hugest Ezo spike of my entire life. Launching probe. That is a fat boy Ezo spike. Is it just like along the equator that the Ezo is? Maybe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Holy. It really Launching does seem probe. like it's just along the equator. Either that or I'm just getting very lucky by scanning the equator. I think we've done a full lap now. Let's try. Let's try up then. Let's see if there's any. Yeah, there's like really no Ezo up top. What about down low? I think it was just all along the equator. Cool. I guess that's because the. I guess that's because that's the bit that's like super unexplored, right? Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, that's it. That's it for this joint. We have bum, used bum, bum, half bum. See you never, this system. Uh, we've already 100%ed that, have we? Okay. Uh, the Shrike Abyssal. 0%. Is this the last system that we hadn't looked at? I think this might be the final one.
Tossal Nim. The sister tragedy to the extinction event on Afras, Tossal Nim was the rarest of duel jewels, a second garden planet within the same life zone as Afras. Not as old as its sister planet, its fossil in evidence indicates it was home to abundant invertebrate sea life. However, similar craters to those on Afras created a dust shroud that killed 99% of biota on the planet. The even spacing of the craters indicates a coordinated, simultaneous attack from points around the globe, rather than an asteroid collision or supervolcanic scenario. Huh. So it was like... If World War 3 broke out on Earth right now, and all the countries now have nukes, and so we'd all just get wiped out very, very fucking quick. <laughs> I guess. They, uh... Just all release the nukes at once. Wow, that was a single scan. Ah, hello! Single scan to take it from rich to good, but it's an Ezo planet again. Oh my goodness. It's my lucky day. Any more Ezo for Mizo? No. Was it literally just that one? Oh! Launching probe. And one spike there. Nice. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. I have detected an anomaly. Oh! Side mission time, Zadaban. Zadaban is a large, dense planet named for a Volus god of punishment. Its crust is rich in uranium, eroded by winds to create large radio radioactive dust storms across its surface. The Volus of Talisphere have explored the planet thoroughly with space probes and telepresent robo mining machines and discovered they are not the first to exploit the planet. Plastics from a mining station approximately 50,000 years old can be found near the planet's equator. 50,000 years, so that's Protheans, right? Curiously, the mines nearby were not tapped out of uranium ore, they were instead abandoned at the height of their operation. So, when the Protheans got wiped out, I guess. Get them back to work. The boss will murder us if those weapons aren't ready. Get them back to work. The boss will murder us if those weapons aren't ready. Get them back to work. Hmm. Probe away. Scans have found something. Scans show a crude base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary patrol protocols. Numerous life signs matching Vorcha genealogy detected. The base's material resources match our data on weapons manufacturing components. Alrighty. Launching probe. Man, <laughs> I find- oh my god, I, I'm getting so fucking much Ezo. What- what is going on? Ezo's been rare as shit this entire game. And then the two systems that I haven't been to yet, it's like, yeah, we got fucking stacks on stacks on stacks of Ezo. Holy fuck. Launching probe. 20k Ezo. I've never had 20k Ezo. Launching probe. Madness. Probe launched. Okay, what about the top? Not an up top. Not an up top. Nah. Okie dokie. Let's go. Let's swap you back to red, and let's take uh, Kasumi and Thane. Four points, waiting on Shredder ammo. Two points, we can put that into your flashbang. Cool, cool. Let's go. Kalask, you'll get your resources when they're good and ready. You want to come mine these rocks yourself? Everything will be ready for the attack. If you'd gotten me the additional Vorture I asked for, it would have been done by now. Salamul. What is this actually called? Blood Pack Base. What was the previous one? Abandoned Mine? I didn't actually read it. I just went to it. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's see how the Geth shotgun fares on this one. I wasn't particularly feeling it, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm sending back two of the Vorture you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These piss poor shots are more likely to blast the broadside of one of your generators than hit their intended targets. Maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamned assistance. Yeah, there's a, a lot of people seem to really like the guest shotgun from the comments, but uh, I can't say I was a big fan in that one. It feels like when you pull the trigger, it feels kind of weak and unresponsive, whereas when you when you pull the trigger on like the Krogan shotgun, it's such a kick. Like it feels really good. But maybe that will change. I'll give it one more mission. Oh, can I not? Is there no way up there? Like, that is a cool feature, for sure. Absolutely. But I'd much rather just, like, fly down and shoot them up close and personal, right? Like, it just sounds so weak when you just shotgun them at point blank range, it's just a poofed. Some of my Vorture have gone missing. I need more if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. I don't care how you get them. Ask Garm for his extras. He has to have some cast-offs that are good enough for mining duty. What? That's supposed to send him flying. He didn't give a fuck. He did not give a single fuck. Yeah, I think we'll swap, swap back to the Krogan shotgun after this mission. Cool though the long range aspect of this is. Oh, that's why the person didn't. It was because he had armor. It was because he had armor. That's why he didn't go flying before. Can't target them. Can't reach the target. But yeah, cool though the long range aspect of this is, if I wanted to do long range, then I'd have chosen a sniper, you know? <laughs> I'm a vanguard. I wanna I wanna be charging in, getting up close and personal with a one hit, one kill. Wonder. This wall looks fake. Don't you think? Like, it's just a different colour to all the rest of the rocks. That feels like that should fall, move away to reveal a door or something. So yeah, glad I tried it to see what the fuss is about, but I don't think it's as good as the Krogan one for a Vanguard. Hi! I'd like a closer look at that. At what, sorry? The, the things were about to blow up. <laughs> Guess so. I missed. That's good. Is there anything else before I blow the last one and it ends the mission automatically? Is there anything else to find? Doesn't look like it. I guess you have to do all four. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Now I'm evacuating, I'm evacuating. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, indeed. Do 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 do. Demolished blood pack weapons production facility. Decimated blood pack vulture soldiers. 
Little bit of XP. Oh, what? We got a new heavy weapon? Oh no, we got a new heavy weapon upgrade. Did I pick this up? I don't remember picking this up. Plus 60% heavy weapon ammo capacity. Alright. I don't remember picking that up at all. Did I just do it mindlessly or did, is it just given to you for doing that mission regardless? I wonder. I wonder I do. Watch me forget to actually do it now. Here's Afras, a unique discovery. Afras is a heavenly twin, a planet in a star system that has not one but two worlds of sufficient mass to retain a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere within the habitable life zone of its parent star. Fossil evidence shows abundant vertebrates and evidence of a sapient terrestrial avian species in its Bronze Age. However, the, tra the only trace of contemporary life on the planet is that of a single-celled organism in its seas. All else has suffered from an extinction event, a series of massive impacts that vaporized vast quantities of water and lofted dust into its atmosphere. Early theories that this event was a collision with a fragmenting asteroid have now been discounted. The impact craters were aimed directly at habitation centers. Hmm. Same as the other one, the one it's twinned with, right? Uh, any Ezo? There's been a lot of Ezo on these planets recently, but no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, 75%, what one am I missing out here? Vam Oscar, Jovian gas giant, weeping witness. Later this year, 33 of the moons will be visible from the planet's surface in a conjunction, an event that will be recorded by space probes from all over the galaxy. Nice. Ezo, no. That's 100. Uh, do we need to buy anything? I can't remember if we're topped up or not. Uh, just a little bit of that. A little bit of probage. Erla Rast. Bovis Tor, the Shining Sea, in an old Volus language, so named for its boiling surface rich with glowing hot alumina, flecked with dark ridges of carbon. It is a rich place. Oof. Oof, get a load of that. Get a load of that. Probe away. And we're already down to good. Sure. Yoink. Talis Fear. Capable of supporting life if it happens to breathe ammonia. Discovered by Asari explorers, the planet was used as a bargaining chip by the Citadel Council, who quickly drafted a colonization agreement with its wealthy client race, the Volus. The Council would fund the Volus colonization effort in return for massive trade benefits. With uncharacteristic enthusiasm, an enormous Volus influx ensued, and the Council reaped the economic benefits for a dozen years before the colonization bubble burst. To get today, the economic good times on Talisphere are long gone, and modern Volus business is a cutthroat operations. Piracy is a grave threat to shipping, as well-armed criminals see the Volus as easy prey. Yeah, they uh, do not seem to be very good at fighting from everything we've seen of the old Volus. Zero out of ten fighters. Did I just see an Ezo spike? I did. Hello. Launching probe. Unless you're a biotic god. If you're a biotic god, you can do a little bit of fighting. Probe away. God, on our way to fucking 30k Ezo. The good times are here to stay. Probe away. Got so much Ezo, I don't know what to do with it. Any around the top? No, nope, it was a it was a bottom only thing. There we go. Well, Knew I'd watch. fucking seen a little bit. A little bit of a spike there. Can we not get it any higher than that? Sure. Probe launched. That'll do. That'll do. Doz Atab, Ice Giant Sky Warden. 
Seasons vary wildly in temperature. Any Izo, nada. Any anything, nada, it seems. That's 100%. Is there... There's nowhere else uh, in this system, right? It's just the two places we've explored now. No other arrows. Doesn't look like it. Okie doke. I've just realised, did it say the Sol system was 100%? Because I'm pretty sure we've never actually been there in this game, right? So is it only saying 100% because, like, it's the Sol system, so it has been explored by humans, even though we ourselves have not explored it? Where was it? Was it down here somewhere? Was it you? Local cluster. Like, I'm pretty sure we've never been here in this game, right? So I guess it just automatically is 100%. Aw, oh, poor Pluto. It doesn't have its own ring. That's funny. Was Pluto still a planet when this game came out? Like, classified as a planet? And did it have its own ring in the original version? Or was that already... Was it already removed from planet status? Uh, one of Sol's numerous ice dwarf worlds, mainly of note for being the gravitational anchor for the mass relay to Arcturus. Pluto and the Charon, Charon, however you pronounce it, relay, orbit each other. Was circularized in 2157 as a side effect of mass relay recovery operations. I'm guessing these are all going to be depleted, are they? Oh no, moderate. Probably no Ezo to be found, though. Maybe on Mars? Wasn't Mars like a uh, biotic training place? Neptune, though Neptune like Uranus, heh, has plentiful helium. Heh, Uranus is gassy. Its remoteness made it an uncompromising, uncompromising, unpromising target for mining before the development of mass, the Mass Effect drive. With Uranus cheaper to exploit... <laughs> Oh, they knew what they were doing. It has never seen extensive development. The only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. After the development of Mass Effect FTL Drive, distant Uranus was the target of a land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 fuel and shallow for a gas giant gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of HE3 in Allied space. Status depleted. Nothing worth probing Uranus for. Really, Commander? <laughs> really, Commander? <laughs> That's about the best we'll get. <laughs> oh, that's great. Broke away. Okay, she's gone back to the normal ones now. Oh, that is wonderful. Saturn! Major source of helium-3 fuel. Mo moon is mined for hydrocarbons. Good. But no, he's out. Do, 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 do. Jupiter. Deep gravity well and lethal radiation have kept its moons from being significantly exploited. The largest outpost is Binary Helix Corporation's Nautilus facility attached to the underside of Europa's ice sheet. Ah, oh, good old Europa. Good old Europa. No Ezo. Mars, will you have any Ezo? Once considered a prospect for terraforming and colonization, the discovery of faster than light travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. Its southern pole is a historical preserve centered on the Prothean ruins found there. Immigration and development are restricted as the search for Prothean artifacts continues. Actually, did I misremember? Maybe I was getting confused. I knew Mars had something happen on it, but I guess. It, maybe it wasn't the biotic thing I was thinking of because Mars was where humanity found the first Prothean uh, relic, right? That like 
opened the, opened humanity up to the wider galaxy. So maybe I was maybe was it was it the moon that was where the biotic shit was going on? I can't remember now. Uh, we actually can't scan Mars. That's strange. Why would it let us scan every other place, but not Mars? Is that just a glitch or? Nope, you really can't. Well, all right then. What about Earth? Can we scan Earth? Nope. Uh, standard issue Alliance Galactic Codex, riddled with debris, generated by bootstrap space development. Okay. Venus. We can scan Venus. Why are Earth and Mars the two we cannot scan? Like, I guess it makes sense that you can't fire fucking probes at Earth because it's Earth and people are presumably still living there. But, uh, Mars? Not sure, not sure. Not much going on on old Venus. And Mercury. Handful of solar power stations exist on peaks of eternal light at the north and south poles of Mercury. The difficulties imposed by the planet's proximity to the sun and high orbital velocity have limited development. No, he's out. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, where's the Shadow Broker base? Over here. Do 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 do. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Is this whole was the whole Shadow Broker place hundred percent? Uh, yeah. It was, I guess. I don't remember doing that, but I guess I did. <laughs> Let's go and see what is going on there. If there's any new missions for me to put credits into or anything. Doink. I know. We've already been there to see it, game. <laughs> uh, that's the dossiers. We don't want that until after the loyalty missions. Embedded correspondence. Mission report ready. Success. Citadel journalists are now reporting live from the Terminus systems. Hurrah. Uh, failure. The Blue Suns whip up an advertising campaign to counter your bad press. You hate to see it. Uh... Failure, several Karshan nations have acquired WMDs that tip the balance in their favour. This was the war on the Batarian homeworld, right? Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, RIP that planet. That is, uh, that is very bad, in fact. Success, your agent warns Binary Helix about a Citadel inspection a week before it happens. Nice. Uh, Arbitrator, the garden world of An Anhur went through a bloody political rebellion a few years ago and a depressed economic climate has rekindled old grudges. Set up neutral ground for peace talks to prevent the colony from slipping back into a civil war. Go, go. False prophets. A rapidly growing cult called the followers of the exalted light of the word is gaining a foothold in Omega. Send agents to infiltrate the controversial religion and siphon off donation money for yourself. What? A cult called the Followers of the Exalted Light of the Word. Is that going to be a uh, Hanar cult, do we reckon? That sounds like a Hanar thing. There you go. That's it. Only two this time. There were four the previous couple times. Uh, Liara doesn't turn to have anything new to say, does she? Wait. Shipman's SMG technology? Sent a schematic for modifying the SMG in exchange for help in blackmailing Citadel officials. Oh, and 2,500 platinum. Huh. It's just another damage up? Okay. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, nothing new. Alright, alright. Liara, why'd you keep closing the blinds? Get some light in this room. the General Partnex and Killux Tannis duel. 
You gonna have anything more to say? I again, Shepard. Bye again, Theron. Thanks. Uh, will there be any new videos yet? Or is that something that only updates infrequently? Aria Talok, Omega. Well, got him. Emily Wong, Citadel. Interviewing Hannah. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Do we know who that is? Fred Mazai. Uh, what's he? Oh no. I thought he had. It looked like he had a knife in his hand there. It look. It changes when he gets to there. But when he's walking with it behind his back, doesn't that look like a fucking knife? <laughs> just for a, just for a moment, I was like, what's he gonna do? And then it's like, no surprise. It's some kind of data pad. Donnell Odina, Omega. Having fun there? Wait, Udina's on Omega? Huh. Armando Bailey, Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Punch him in the face! Punch him in the face! Oh! <laughs> I mean, the stomach works too! I was not expecting that. Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Praetor Gavorn. Omega. Kalisa bin Sinan al Jilani. Citadel. Oh good. The running joke is punch the journalist. Every every time we see her. Citadel. Nice selfie. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. Damn, kill him. He ain't no biotic god. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Run away, monkeys. Elias Kellum, Citadel. God, there's a whole fucking load of new ones. Okir test subject number 317, alias Grunt. Ilium. When did Grunt do this? Did Grunt take shore leave last time we were there? Thane Krios, Kaje. Cat <laughs> disappeared in the shadow. I mean, there's no point taking the camera out after you commit the murder on camera. It's not like breaking the camera lens is going to stop the recording from having been recorded already. You do you though, Thane. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. You are smoking something fucking strong if you think she's going to let you fly away. She's going to stop that entire car. Yep. <laughs> love to see it. Fucking love Samara. Hey, there we go. There we go. Samara is great. Samara is... As you requested. I have acquired the soul name for the leader of the Hanars in Kindler religion. Right, that's the name that they only tell, like, really close family and friends. The soul name. Yeah, it's, honestly, Samara's, like, jumped right up to be one of my favourites. May or may not have something to do with how hot she is. I cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> but I do really like her character as well.
So, uh, all right, let's Manny, do. You received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, nice. Let's do these upgrades before I forget. How much did that cost? I didn't even check. I just did it, but whatever. <laughs> we can't look and see how much it cost. Uh, if once we've already done it. Lovely jubbly. That was it, right? That didn't lead to anything new. No. Okie dokie. Oh, well, let's let's read the messages, actually, before I end off. No messages for you, Commander. Bitch, you literally just told me that there are messages waiting for me. Jesus. Thank you from my daughter, from Diana. Commander Shepard, Arya Talok told me where to send this. I'm Neff's mother, Diana. Oh, that's the one uh, that Morinth killed, I think. We talked when you came to investigate her death. Yeah, yeah. Arya also told me that a Dedasari woman was found in one of the wealthy apartments, that she was the one who'd killed my daughter. Thank you. I don't know who brought you into my life, but thank you for avenging my daughter. My Neff deserved better than this. I couldn't give it to her, but you at least killed the bitch who took that what to who took what little she had away. Gratefully, Diana. Glad I could do something, at least. Alright, first scanning mission over. Scanning episode. So, which of the remaining ones shall we do? 